I am ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. No groundbreaking news, but I might as well just put my pitch in now. Yeah? Sam Langford destroys Floyd, Sugar Ray Leonard, Robinson, Hearns, anyone you can think of. Anyone, right? I'm not going to pitch him against the greatest heavyweights of all time, although he's got a victory against Jack Johnson, but it's registered as a victory for Jack Johnson too, but they've both got the victory somehow, you know, so, you know, go figure that. But Sam Langford destroys everyone. I don't care what you want to say. Marvin Hagler's my favorite fighter. Sam Langford beats Hagler. I, that takes a lot for me to say. Sam Langford beats Hagler. A lot of Hagler's opponents were scared of him. What, you think Sam Langford's going to be scared of Marvin? You've got to be joking. He'd be laughing in his face like he was going to eat him. None of them guys can intimidate Sam. None of them. Yeah? None of these guys can retain their punch power for as long as Langford could. None of them. None of them. None of them can claim the victories that Langford has from lightweight to heavy. None of them. None of them. And if you say Pacquiao... <laughs> People keep saying Sugar Ray Robinson. No, no. Sam Langford is the greatest fighter of all time. Let's not get it twisted. He's the greatest. Reign is prime, flagged down the stretch because of a hot arena against Maxim. Remember, Maxim would have got a dance. Sam would have danced Maxim. What are you talking about? Sam would have dust him off. If they didn't have that stupid color bar and forced him into the colored heavyweight championships he would have won the heavyweight title yeah he would have won it he's the best five foot seven knocking out heavyweights with ease he's beat joe gans at lightweight a draw with the barbados demon joe walcott and i haven't got the box wreck up so i'm gonna miss out a lot a lot of names he beat jack blackburn philadelphia jack o'brien light heavy he beat stanley ketchell middle he beats Tiger Flowers, the middleweight champion. He beat so many people, man. Joe Jeanette. He dominated for long periods in the colored heavyweight title. For long periods. He beat guys like Jim Flynn, easy. I think Flynn beat him once out of about five fights. He, Flynn got title shots. Flynn knocked out Dempsey in a round. Yeah. He's the greatest. The man was killing his opponent with feints. You know what I mean? You guys say all oh, them old black and white fighters. They, 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 get lost. You don't know shit about boxing. You don't know shit. <laughs> you know what you're talking about. You ain't got a clue what you're talking about. He never weighed more than 11 or 12 stone. And his physique was just like, damn. He was brolic. Look, picture the scenario, man. Sam didn't have no eight-week training camps and videotape. Listen, give Sam an eight-week training camp. And videotape to study any of your favorite fighters and tell me how they're gonna live. Forget winning off the fight or competing. Tell me how they're gonna live. You explain it to me how they're gonna live. And you can pick any weight you want, even heavyweights. You can pick any weight you want. How do they live? Because when you do these fantasy matches, people only do them in one scenario, you know, but you've got to do them in a couple. How would the fighters in this era cope with the smaller gloves, no tape? No big long training camp, you know, you know what I mean? Unless it was the heavyweight title or it was a world championship. Man. How do they cope and have the success rate that a Langford had? And how does Langford cope today? You know what, you don't think Langford would do well today? Really? Listen, he beat everybody from lightweight to heavyweight. So if he was fighting today, he would beat all the in-between weights. How many titles would Sam have today? How many titles? Sam Langford is the greatest, and that's my pitch, and I'm done with this one for now. I just needed to get it off my chest, man.